Hey everyone, it's Engineer of Sodor. You've all been asking for it, and here it is. The first in a series of episodes looking at the facial expressions, animations, and sets that bring the videos on this channel to life. On today's episode of Sodor Training, we'll look at how to create a static facial expression. So that means no movement, either in the background or foreground. For this tutorial, we're going to recreate two static facial expressions from the episode, Cows. To create the facial expressions, I use a program called GNU Image Manipulation Program, or GIMP for short. It's free to download and the link is in the video's description. Whilst for my editing, I use a software called Wondershare Filmora, which requires a license. So let's start off with the first image. A key point to take note of is that all of my photos and videos are done in landscape with a 16 by 9 ratio. This means I can change the facial expressions either of a video clip or a static image, but we'll cover all of these in videos to come. Now that we have the image in GIMP, you'll need two dialogues, layers and tools. We're going to use our select tool, zoom in and select Gordon's pupil. Depending on whatever you're selecting, you can use the fuzzy select tool or free select tool. For me, I go between either depending on the shape of the pupil. Once you've selected your pupil, we copy it and then go paste as new layer. We then do the same thing with the second pupil. By creating duplicate layers with both, we can then freely change their position to have Gordon look in a different direction. We'll also create a blank layer underneath the eye layers and above the original. This is so we can fill in or cover any markings on Gordon's face and completely fill in both of his sclera. To fill in most of these parts, I use the airbrush tool with a varying opacity and hardness. The last thing we'll do now is to move the pupils so that we have Gordon partially looking at the cow and partially looking down the line. And that completes this first tutorial. We'll just do a quick comparison between this version against the original. What's this? We'll now use the same techniques for the second facial expression. This time when Percy watches the porter leading Bluebell and her calf away. As you can see, everything we're doing is exactly the same as the previous example using Gordon. Just take note of the way that I've used the different layers to move the pupils, and then how I've used the airbrush tool to fill in the sclera of both eyes, and also any parts on Percy that we want to brush up. And with that, the second tutorial for Percy is complete. Again, we'll do a quick comparison between this version and the original. And the porter led them away.
That's it for Sodor Training Episode 1, everyone. If you like the video, please leave me a like, comment, or hit that subscribe button for notifications of new remakes or tutorials. Until next time, everyone, thanks again. Bye.